All right, welcome back to Jump One Half. Unfortunately, I lost my first attempt at this recording. See, the thing is, there was this annoying buzzing noise in my videos for the longest time, and you probably noticed it, especially during the fast forward sessions. So during those sections, it was really annoying me, I know for sure. So I hope it wasn't annoying anyone else too much, but uh, I think I fixed it now. The problem was before that I needed to unplug my AC cable to stop that from happening. And often I would forget, but even when I did remember, my laptop would run out of battery halfway through the recording generally, so I would plug it in. And then sometimes during that, when it was getting plugged in, for some reason the recording was getting corrupted there. So now that should be, now that I fixed the buzzing problem, I think hopefully for good. My mic is also a lot louder too, I had to turn it down. And I hope the audio balance is still good. I'm going to switch to Luigi or Green Mario, because everyone loves playing as Green Mario, so uh, we're going to be doing that. So I've already seen this level, obviously. This Yoshi is kind of instrumental to getting the uh, secret exit. Let's wait for that bullet to fire. So this level was not a joke by any means. I found it easiest to just jump down to that thingy from above. Alright, so let's try to look for a good opportunity. This looks like a good opportunity. For this obstacle, I kept standing on the gray block and then getting hit by a hammer. The easiest way is just to go up and over. There's a mushroom in that block, but it's not worth it at all. I can, Especially when you need to make it to the secret exit with Yoshi, which means that you can't take a hit anyways. Not in this level, at least. Because Yoshi will immediately fall down the hole. And that's no good at all. And we also get a mushroom here, so even if we did really want that mushroom earlier, we can just get it here instead. Whoops. Oh, I caught up to him, so that's okay. <laughs> I don't need to go much farther. Let's just ignore whatever it was back there. Wow, I saw it on the bullet. That Koopa gets to keep its life today. That's good. Um, I guess I may as well go over here. Nah, I think I made it harder for myself by doing that. Now I have to go back. The key is actually back there, which is why I need to go back there. Um, yes, that worked. So basically I... Oh, well that didn't work. Well, I'll just respawn the key. I don't remember if I can slide kill bullets, or even if Yoshi can slide kill at all for that matter. I know Yoshi's physics are a little bit weird. Alright, spit out the key there just to refresh the timer. Gotta do that at every instance that I can because... Uh, let's just get this. Save my dragon coins. If I do mess this up somehow, I'll just come back to the level again. Alright, let's just spit that over there and kill this guy with fire. Actually, that's not very useful. He'll just respawn regardless. I think I just need to stomp on him. Or stomp on the saw. Oh, shoot. I actually needed that platform. I thought there was ground underneath. Well, I'm coming back to the level for the secret exit, that's for sure. But at least I don't need to worry about the dragon coins next time. Yoink. Grab the fire flower. You know, this is what I should have done either, earlier. Just throw the shell at him. That works so much better. Just gonna jump over the saw. Alright, so the keyhole is up there. So I was just shy of making it to that too. But now that I don't have Yoshi, I can't really get the key. So it's not really worth it. Alright, so let's just slope down here. And I messed that up. <laughs> if you lose your cape while you're trying to do a cape thing, it's not going to go well. I really should have done a duck jump. That would have protected me for sure. Whoops. Dang it, now I think I don't get to use that fantastic cape there. That's really helpful. Yeah, it's just a mushroom now. So I'm just going to be grabbing that dragon coin without it, hopefully. Rats. I should have paused it. Or just tried to do a lower jump, I suppose. 
Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I keep forgetting that this uh, rope here doesn't just fly downwards. It doesn't even look like there's a line there, so I was just expecting it to do the Kaizo hack thing where it just falls. I think the Dragon Coin was not over there. These things are bullet shooters, which is kind of awkward because they fire at somewhat random times with respect to when you get on the uh, rope, is what I found. What happened to me the... Dang it. Don't really know what to do about that. Trying to spend as much as I mean as little time in the way of those uh, bullet shooters as I possibly can. All right, I think this just okay. I actually do need to jump off, so good thing I reacted. All right, I can stand on here. Not that it does me much good. All right, let's just do that. Somehow my fireballs bounce perfectly to hit each of them twice. That just works out nicely. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Alright, let's wait for that guy to shoot. Go down straight into the pipe. I actually forgot that it was a pipe that I had to go down, but... Alright, this is a lot less tense as long as you have a power-up. Because these footballs, when they're being burned from far away, are no problem at all. Uh, you can just go that way. You can just die. Yep, yeah, just forget about those guys. So in case you weren't aware, the reason why this level is called Jamaican Fusion is because a terraformer is from uh, the U.S. and Yawful Gamblers from Germany, which you might be able to guess from their names at any rate. I'm sure there's a lot of little in-jokes in here, but I don't tend to get jokes like that all the time, so... I... Oh no, that was dumb. Well, I can just start reset now. Start select. So anytime I lose Yoshi, it's not a death, but it is a restart. Just wait for that guy to fire. Easy peasy that time. And just jump over the thing. I guess I could even just continue jumping over those things, but whatever. Okay, that was a weird strat, and I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have just waited for the saw again like I did every other time. But thankfully things worked out. I almost spoke too soon there. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, Yoshi's going straight down a hole. I remember that there was a hole to the left there, so he's gone. Okay, I guess that's not really the best strategy either. <laughs> I feel like anything I do there is going to be a little bit tense. Alright, so I have to remember that there's ground under that guy. That's why I messed up the other one later. I was like, oh, there's ground there. Actually, it was under that guy instead. 
can actually go up here for some one-ups too. It doesn't matter if I'm uh, not using a save state to record my lives. Alright, straight down here, follow the coins and get out of the way of those guys. Maybe I... The reason why I'm not going to the right there and I'm going to the left instead is just to give myself a little bit of time with the bullet cannons. Because I don't know how long it's going to be till the bottom one fires. Alright, spit the key out as many times as I can. And actually, let's just get off of Yoshi here. Because if I kill this guy with the shell like I did all the other times, it's a lot easier. Now I can kill the shell and jump over the saw. Good. Whoops, I got hit, but I didn't get knocked downwards, so that's fine. I can just continue on. Alright, that worked out nicely. Bombs away. But we're not going there yet. Effortland 2, two hour challenge by Pyro. I already know that. Uh, she made this level in two hours, as the text box is about to say. Don't run right on the slanted slopes. Yes, you'll fall right through like I just did there. Jump to avoid falling straight through them. Also, this level is made in two hours. <laughs> so, yeah, in case you haven't guessed, the best way to move on these things is to jump forward and then try to get like some leftward momentum so you're not accidentally going a little bit right and falling through. That's what I find is the best way to do it. And then there's these guys, which are placed in some nasty places. Alright, I uh, just gotta kinda tap left there to go through it. Get some momentum. Jump through that. <laughs> Alright, I'll duck under that guy. Okay, I messed that up. I actually didn't mess that obstacle up at all last time, but... This time, apparently, I was not prepared for it. That was close. That was very close. I jumped too high outwards the first time. Alright, let's see if I can set up the moon grab. Alright, so put the platform in the right place. Get rid of Charlie. I also get a midpoint right here. Hooray! Alright, so we gotta go from underneath. Oh, apparently the way I was gonna do that doesn't work at all. Hmm, I'm not actually sure how to get that moon then. So, I assumed that the way was to set the other platform up, the, well, the wooden platform at the left right there, and then spin jump off the spiky guy that just fell. But, I don't think I can do that. And if you get on this platform, well actually, if I just set up the platform like this... Okay, yeah. I was way overthinking that. <laughs> that was pretty easy. I mean, I still got hit, but... Oh, uh, I'll try going under this one. Wow, that was close. <laughs> I wasn't even prepared for the platform to start falling there. Alright, gotta go fast. Alright. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was expecting to have to react to something and jump off it, but... It just lands on the line. I did the exact same thing last time, too. Alright. I think jumping over that one is the better move. Doing that is not the better move, though. And I can't even start select in this level because I have not beaten it. Just jump straight up to avoid those guys as much as possible. Makes things so much easier. Alright, now we just take our time, do this. Probably should have jump jumped there. This mushroom might get me killed, to be honest. Or it might save me. Well, I probably would have made it if I wasn't big anyway, so it doesn't really matter much. And there's the end. So a nice, fun two-hour level. 
It didn't seem quite as polished as a lot of the other levels, but I mean, if you only have two hours to make it, it does make a difference. <laughs> The Goondocks by Jabri Sunset, or however you're supposed to pronounce that. I had a lot of trouble with these birds last time. Their, their hitbox is a little bit obscured by the fact that their wings are flapping. That's what I found at any rate. I wonder if I can eat them. The other thing is that they, they start flying horizontally. Wow, what happened there? What was I supposed to do? The other thing is that they start to fly horizontally. Like, you see how they swoop down and then go into a horizontal arc. Uh, the moment they start to go horizontal is exactly when I want to jump on them. Which is a real pain because they aren't exactly where I expect to be when I'm going to land. The, the ones that are just flying horizontally are a lot easier to deal with. And the screen just stops scrolling there, which is good. And I think this is about the midpoint. Yeah, there it is. That went a lot better than last time. Hopefully that trend will continue in the second half. And for that matter, the next level, because that was also kind of a mess last time. I didn't even beat it, to be honest. Alright, so just get this mushroom, jump over these guys. They're a lot easier to avoid than they are to jump on. That was very close. I think I actually got hit last time. Either that or it was equally close, I'm not really sure. Just be patient, wait for the right moment to actually press that thing so you're not dumping a whole pile of birds on your head. Grab one of these blocks, because it's pretty clear that you're going to want one. Um, there we go. Nice. That went very well. It's definitely much easier when you're not doing it blind. <laughs> I even got the 50. Sheesh. That went definitely about as well as I could have. Now on to Bombs Away by Six Corby. I remember this level did go very well, so hopefully that continues. And this level has a lot of bombs and bubbles and other things and bubbles that you need to use to stall in the air so that you have just long enough to land on the platform that you want to land on. There's some other tricks in there like knocking a Goomba out of a bubble and then bouncing on it, stuff like that. Like right here. So this, the second bubble stalls you just long enough that the bomb from the first bubble can fall it, it, to the ground and everything's good. There's also a 1-up in this block, which is helpful. Not. Boink. Kill you. I should probably get rid of that guy before he blows up in my hands. We also have Kirby music in this level, which is always a nice thing. No! <laughs> These guys sway side to side, which makes them... Act it actually does make a pretty huge difference in how hard it is to land on them. Because you can just aim for the center, but the center is a very small area. If you if you want to be able to land them at, at, on them, no matter where they are in their uh, swinging side to side, you've only got a very small area. Why did I do that? And timing it is not the easiest thing in the world either, so... Whoops. I was supposed to kill the other guy with him, but instead I fried his face. Oh, dang it, and this time I killed <laughs> with the Goomba, or Goomba rather. 
Well, I have another mushroom, so it's no big deal. The much bigger risk is falling down the hole here. I say after getting hit twice, I suppose, but... Whoa! That was definitely not how that obstacle was supposed to work. <laughs> but I somehow managed to live, so I'll take that. Yeah, that is so close, and right before the midpoint, too. That is that is a pretty tense moment. Let those guys fall to their deaths. Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember getting really scared by that surprise attack of fish, and then realize, like just getting out of the way in time, and then it's like, oh, it actually doesn't matter. Alright, let's just do that. Dang it. Alright, so our power-up is just a mushroom, and it will always be a mushroom, so there's no sense in grabbing the other power-up first. Yeah, the bomb on there makes you want to rush, but you have to think it through and not do that because of the enemies popping out of the blocks. It's kind of a cool obstacle. Alright, wait for this guy. The dragon coins have pretty big hitboxes, so it's pretty hard to actually miss it as long as you bounce on that bomb. That one's really hard to do right. Thankfully, the punishment for failure is not instant death, so... Definitely get some rightward momentum before landing on those bombs at all. This is pretty easy. And now we just need to stop on this guy when he goes past the dragon coin. There we go. Alright. Dodge you, use you. Oh, <laughs> and yes, uh, th those fish almost got me again. Well, oh, crud. Because they make you want to wait, but waiting is absolutely the one thing you shouldn't do there. Alright, I'm going to just, just ignore that Kalumba. Through all the fish. Ugh, just high enough. The timing doesn't work out with the goals, surprisingly. It's like way down at the bottom for some reason, but maybe if I went faster and just went for it, the timing would have been perfect, I don't know. Sus bombs away. Very nice level, it has a very good flow. Battlefield of the Three Kingdoms by FT. This level is certainly a thing. I really had trouble parsing this level at all the first time through. Oh yeah, hit the block. Knock it into that thing. Whoops. Yet, I did not do that right. I swear that er I got hit by every single obstacle in this entire level. <laughs> At least once before figuring out how to do it. Well, most more so in the second half than the first. These obstacles aren't really that tough. But there's some weird things like those uh, blue Koopas falling off the ropes that it's just like... And then that one has two shells. It just feels like nothing is quite how I'm expecting it to be, and then I get smacked for it. Oh yeah. Kill this guy, this guy gives you a mushroom. What a nice shell. I'm not sure what the challenge is associated with that dragon coin, it's just kind of sitting there. <laughs> and now that guy's just a head stuck in the... Oh, yeah, see, that's what I mean. I was not paying attention to that triangle on the right, and then the shell hits me in the face for it. And then that guy just barely hits his head on the post, which wasn't quite what I was expecting. This level does that all the time. Alright, so these guys, I had a lot of trouble figuring out this puzzle. You want to knock that guy down so that he hits you, and then you can walk forward. 
I was trying to figure out how I could get one of them to kick the block into me for the longest time. I was like, that's just impossible. How do I do that? And of course it is impossible, so you don't do that. Maybe I shouldn't have waited for that guy to fall off because now this is going to take forever. Or I can just despawn the second guy. There we go. I almost ran out of time on that puzzle. <laughs> Alright, slide into him with my knees. That seems really painful. Like, Luigi, that is not a good idea. Alright, you kick that down there. Alright, wait for you to uh, go down the hole. Just go above everything. That works. Alright, so this fire here, slide, kill him, and grab that dragon coin. I almost got killed by the weirdness of this platform. If you slide and then jump without holding left or right, I, you keep a lot more momentum, which allows you to make jumps like the ones over those munchers really easy. Dang it, that didn't work out. <laughs> Let's grab myself this shell. At least I still have a mushroom. Oh yeah, I think I need to do some Koopa bouncing here, so let's ditch the shell. Alright, so I can go back to get that moon. Also, these guys drip fire everywhere, which kind of makes it difficult. At least you don't really have a time limit. Because I'm so used to with those guys, the fire is only being on the ground, and then there it isn't. So here you just stand here. <laughs> Don't do anything crazy, and it's a piece of cake. Alright, I gotta be very close to the end now, because I'm running out of time. Alright, I gotta stay on the bottom rung to go, to go under these. Whoops. Okay. That's okay, just don't panic. Also, don't panic and grab the goal, because I still have to get that dragon coin over there. Oh no. Oh, that's actually helpful, I, it, now that I think about it. I was thinking <laughs> that it I, would make things harder, and then it's like, oh, no, it just means I can just duck jump in there. No problem. If my heart were a bridge level, with no caps, apparently. Ryrear. That is a hard name to say. <laughs> Has he made any levels in this game yet? I swear this is the first. Ryrear's levels, I find, tend to have a lot of really nice precision platforming in it that's not, like, so precise your eyes will bleed, <laughs> but is precise enough to be pretty fun. And I think we're already kind of seeing that already. Like, it's cramped, but it's cramped in a way that doesn't really get in your way, if that makes any sense. Whoa. Whoa. I really thought I was just going down the hole there. That would have been a cheap shot. Okay, this is... This is kind of hard because I can't duck jump. Oh, I've got to go up one of those? Yeah. Is it the one on the... Do I have to go up the one on the right? That's really hard to do. <laughs> oh boy. I guess maybe I can use the sliding trick, but that's really hard to do, too. Um, let's grab my mushroom. I definitely want fire flower here. It really made a huge difference earlier. It's much easier to not make, like, a s small, dumb mistake. If you don't actually have to deal with all any all the enemies. Especially something like this Chuck. Like, it would be easy to bounce off of him and then take a hit somehow. Alright, this was easier than I made it out to be last time. I can just do that. Dang it. That's a really weird arc. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. You're just supposed to go down the hole. I'm not sure how I missed this thing last time. What did I mess up? Because I... I swear I would have been in line with it where I was when I fell down the hole last time. Well, <laughs> whatever. Um, is it better to hit this or not hit this? Why is this even here? How would I even get up here? I think it's better not to hit it. I don't see any benefit to doing so. Oh, hey, a mushroom. That works. Oh, okay. I need the P-switch to go back up there and hit it. Okay. Oh, it continues. Just gotta keep going. Okay. Decent... That, that was decently tight, but I didn't have, like, that much trouble getting in there. It looks like it might be possible to get into that pipe. Oh, that doesn't work because I'm not tall enough. That's hard to do because I'll hit my head. I think it was a bit too far to the left there. These, the pipes in this game are awful. Yeah, definitely too far to the left there. It really looked like it was implying that I could go in there. I might have been too far to the right that time. No, there's four coins next to this one too. It's just weird. Whoa! Ah, oh, I was so close to the midpoint. Okay, maybe this is supposed to be a window so that you can actually see the green springy thing. But that's still really hard to figure out, I think. Especially since the rest of this level isn't much of a glitch level or anything. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was way too far left. I'm not sure why I did that. Yeah, one thing about this obstacle is that my eyes don't even go past the pipes at the top right of the screen, because, like, my brain is just like, okay, I can't get past there, so nothing past there is relevant, so I'm just gonna tune it out. So, the use of the glitch there is kind of weird. Oh yeah, mushroom here, not that it matters. Just skip a couple. That saves me some time for sure. Alright, you go down the hole. Alright, you go down the hole too. <laughs> See ya! Wow, that was very close as well. Grab the dragon coin before the, go the midpoint, thanks. That way, otherwise, I... it wouldn't save. So I would probably have to go back to the level again, because I... I mean, unless I spawn a little bit above the midpoint or something? I don't know. I can't imagine it would just give me the dragon coin. Thank goodness for the Switch Palace is making that jump easy. And dragon coin number three. 
So it's looking like I probably got them all so far. Should probably duck into that. Okay, let's go down. That would have hit me if I wasn't ducking. But I wouldn't have gone if I wasn't ducking, so maybe that's not a fair comparison. <laughs> Okay. Gotta think on my feet. Not sure what to do with these Monty Moles yet. <laughs> Unless I'm supposed to ground pound them, that doesn't make sense. Oink. Reset doors. Okay, I need to make this guy jump. Which means he should be all the way over here, preferably. There we go. Now you hit this Goomba, and it makes a star for me. Let's just think this through. I just need to go to the right. Or, no. I need to go back to those Monty Moles. I'm stupid. At least there's a reset door, so... Oh, hey! Apparently it doesn't... Okay. Wow. I'm probably gonna die now. However, I did get a whole pile of 1-ups, so... <laughs> okay, that was close, but I actually made it. Thank goodness for tanking hits. I just had to have enough hits to tank with, which thankfully worked, and also there's no goal here. Um, thanks. If my heart were a bridge level, you'd be my goalpost. If my heart were a bridge level, cardiologists are concerned. Yes, they have a very good right to be concerned there. Whoa. <laughs> I was like, I just died there, didn't I? I fell for the bait. Also, I didn't get one of the dragon coins, so I guess I'm going back. I don't know where I missed it. Probably in the second half somewhere, I think. Hang on, this coin's leading back. Oh, hey! Yes, this is it. Alright, um, do I skip the obstacle too? Yes, I do! Man, wish I found that earlier. I guess that's part of the reason why it's hinted so strongly. This is where you need to use the P-switch. I saw the coins back behind me last time too, but I was like, no, I don't have time to check it out. <laughs> but of course you do. So that's the end of that. I can just start select out, and it's good. Have all the dragon coins now. Definitely went better than the last attempt at this episode, even with regards to the, the recording working for one, but even with regards to the levels too. See you next time!